got arguably the noisiest set of fans in the National League, the Middlesbrough Bears fans. It's a long trip for you, lads. You're confident tonight? Of course we're confident. Yeah, we wouldn't have come all this way if we weren't confident. I know we're the underdogs, like, but um, Poole seem to be overconfident in the corner of the local press. They think it's a foregone conclusion. And they did that last year, and Berwick beat them, and I think we can beat them. If we restrict them to about 20 points here, and then get them back at Cleveland Park, I think we're going to annihilate them at Cleveland Park. Obviously you want to win tonight, but if you were to lose, is that a kind of, what kind of target are no, you looking at? Oh, no, I think if we get 40 here, it'll be a moral victory for us, because of the way Poole have been riding. You know, you've got to look at it realistically, but I think we can take them apart at our place. So you don't think you're too much of a disadvantage on this new show track? Yeah, it looks a bit daunting. I mean, I'm stood here. I'm not riding it. It looks daunting. But I think if the lads knuckle down like they did against Wimbledon and have the same attitude and go out with that same attitude, I think they can do it. It's all about confidence, Speedway, and in your head and all that. And I suppose a lot of, a lot of sort of like depending on how we do early on, we've got to get off to a good start, though. You know, and then if we keep them, like I say, 15, 20 points, I think we can do it. OK, well, I'm sure with your kind of backing now, give it 100%. So, to finish with, let's have one of your famous war cries. And that's the best. Give us that war cry. We can now take a look at tonight's riders. Starting with the Bears and with his liquid refreshment, it's their number one, Daz Sumner. They'll be looking for a few points from him tonight. Thanks a lot, Daz. Thanks very much. Second season here at Kingsmead. And the Middlesbrough fans. Quite a happy band. Their side going very well at the moment. Certainly seem to be disturbing the uh, Kingsmead loyals. The follow up then for heat number four it's Mike Speed with Canterbury on the inside in red. Next to him in white, the Middlesbrough skipper Martin Dixon. In blue, it's Paul Hilton. Remember coming out for his second National League match for the Crusaders. He That's a great race there in Heat 7, wasn't it? Yeah, I was there. Uh, I waited up again a bit. I didn't really make a good start. And I uh, tried to uh, pass one of their riders for a few laps. And finally got past him there. Uh, I had to go for it on the last lap and I got past him one as well. Mike Spinks knows you guys as well, doesn't he? Yeah, he used to ride the middle for a couple of years ago. I think he's done a middle for a rider anyway. Very close meeting tonight. How do you see it going? Um, should uh, hopefully be able to go away. Started off, uh, I think it's all mainly on the gates because the stones on the track like so big. And my first ride, I couldn't really race probably because it was like stones hurt your legs so much. But I've put the pads down and now down my legs so it's, uh, you can race then. I think it should uh, be pretty close at the end. I think you've had a few nasty injuries this season, but you always seem to be in the team. You don't seem to be out of action very long. Uh, I've had a few crashes, yeah, I don't know. I had uh, one at pool, and then uh, two days later I had a bad one at Millsbury as well, but uh, just, they don't really, they're bad at the time, but they don't like, now it gets broken out, hopefully. We've just been talking to Alan Mogridge, who said that uh, he, he managed to forget about the broken collarbone. How do you guys keep going? Because, uh, as I said to him, that these sort of injuries will put anybody else off work for about six months. I mean, how did you live with it? Well, uh, I don't know, really, uh, when I brought mine, I went to see a specialist. And uh, I was by racing in two weeks, but uh, I don't know, I just seem to forget about it when you're racing. I think if you start thinking about the dangers when you're racing, that's when you start to crash. Well, great meeting in Prospect tonight. Thanks very much for talking to us, Gary. Thank you. Good old fashioned tunnel mask. It's like the new stuff. Don't get too excited, boys. It's a long way to go, yeah? It's well past his bedtime, that one there, waving at it. Okay, this is heat number seven. To see so many people here. Pump for night tonight in the Borough Bear, so I think win or lose, it's a good night. 